Hello, it's Brenda. I'm going to make a video today kind of on my thoughts and some of the things, I'm going to turn the light on, that I've been going through. Um, my way of life, I'm starting to get a lot of questions and um, as I've noticed and those of you who have gone through weight loss and making major changes in your life, people start to notice after a while and they start to ask questions. So I, I didn't want to not make a video and talk about my thought process and and the reason why I'm eating the way that I'm eating and the emotional aspects of weight loss and sabotage and um, motivation treating yourself healthy inside and out so there's a reason why I gain weight there you know it's my own insecurities it's my weakness uh, I, I love food um, and also, it's more than that. It, before, when, when I was growing up, the, uh, they didn't have all the chemicals in food. I was very, very athletic. I, I went to state in three different sports. I was in the military. Um, I was very physically fit. Then I, I worked at multiple health clubs. Uh, it wasn't until, I would say, about 1990, um, maybe 91, um, that I started gaining weight and and I can pretty much say when it started for me and it kind of escalated from there <clears throat> when I was I well I'd be 21 so it was um, 91 and uh, I wanted to lose a little bit of weight not much because I was always very fit but I was starting to get a little thick so I switched we drank a lot of coke products and I switched to Diet Coke. It was then that my roller coaster with weight began. I had been a thin child all my life. I was actually underweight most of my life because I was a I was born premature. I, I was born in 1970 and at that time I weighed two pounds 13 ounces and I was in an incubator for three months because I was born at like six and a half. My mom was six and a half months pregnant. And in 1970, that was a pretty big deal because uh, usually children didn't live um, that small of weight or um, that premature because my lungs weren't developed. And so they flew me in a helicopter to the University of Washington and I was in a... a an incubator for three months. So, for most of my life, I was very ill. My early, let me show this. My early, early childhood, I remember going to the. I remember bits and pieces of going to the doctor a lot. I had a lot of um, muscle aches and and some growing issues and pain from that as I was growing up. But I was very, very athletic. My out. I got out of the house because I was a single. Uh, an only child until I was 10 and um, I was also a, what we would call a latchkey kid uh, I would come home after school and nobody would be there for hours um, also I would get myself up in the morning and off to school when there was nobody in the house and we're talking like <clears throat> first and second grade hello I thought I'd come outside because I was interrupted and I found and you all probably can attest to this is as soon as I start making a video the phone rings somebody comes through the door or I'll come out here and I'll make start making one and then people come outside and then I'll go somewhere else and they'll follow me there and it's like very difficult to get like 15 20 minutes to make a video and not have any interruptions so I do apologize I was talking about when I first started feeling alone and insecure and some of the ways that I kind of coped with it then and what I think I morphed to in, as an adult. But it's because of these triggers um, to my story. You know, there's certain points where you change your whole way of thinking, things that shape you into the person that you're going to be. I would wake up in the morning, I was like first or second grade. I'm thinking second grade. So what is that? Uh, seven um and i would wake up and nobody would be there and so i would get dressed for school and i lived by the bus barn and i would go
go through the fence we live in an apartment and I would go through the fence into the bus barn and go to my bus and lay down on the front seat and my bus driver she always got there early because she'd set up her bus and everything um, and it would just be me and her for like 45 minutes and she was a very sweet lady and uh, she always made me feel safe and then I started switching for that you know the safe place um, and eating because it would make it was a place you could be out you weren't in a closet or in a bus or someplace like a, when you're a little child and you want to be closed up someplace warm and comfortable and safe um, I started finding that same security in food uh, my great-grandmother used to make me anytime I went to her house she would make macaroni and cheese craft macaroni and cheese and you know there were certain things that she would make and me and my great-grandmother were very close and uh, she made the best macaroni and cheese so that right there was always a staple in my house that's probably one of the things that I miss the most and it's like the worst thing for me it's all chemicals and the thing is about that is it changed it changed from being healthier to them adding stuff in it to make it cheaper to make um, that changed and started making us fat when when I was younger it, it wasn't it was like you know dried milk and, and cheese whey and, and, and that kind of stuff and then they started adding MSG to make it taste even better and um, you know corn syrup or, or pro everything was processed and chemicals for the coloring so they didn't have to use as much cheese and then something to make the cheese taste better so it's it's all of that chemicals in the foods that we may have used when we were younger as triggers the thing about the the kids well not kids but the women that are 21 um, 22 23 in that age which is uh, around when these chemicals started going into the food then they may have dealt with weight issues their whole life if they had the same comfort foods that my generation was brought up on um, because you know I really didn't start gaining weight until I was like 21 and that was it, around 91 so if you were born 90 actually they started adding more chemicals like in 89 um, really pro, uh, craft is a major one and that craft products are something that we were brought up thinking was good and, and healthy and it was a good company and and whatever